hey guys thank you so much for tuning in so today i'm so excited to do a demo and a review on the nika all day matte foundation so i know this foundation has been there for a while um, and i'm late to the bandwagon but i still wanted to try it and test it out for you guys i really do like nika cosmetics on the whole i feel they do a good job with their uh, shade range and quality and this um, Nykaa All Day Matte Foundation comes in 15 shades and I have the shade um, Honey. It comes with a pump and it, the bottle is pretty sturdy glass bottle and it details for 5 dollars and you get 30ml of the product. It claims to give a velvet matte finish and it's supposed to look like second skin and it's also supposed to be lightweight, non-cakey and long wearing for up to 12 hours. So pretty tall claims here. So let's so I have already moisturized my face so I'm going to apply the inside pore minimizer primer today. So I've taken so much, shaking it up very nicely and I've taken uh, one and a half pumps and in my beauty blender I'm just applying it. The shade seems to be a pretty good match and it's blending pretty well. Wow, okay, I'm actually liking the way it's blending and the way uh, it looks so natural just taking uh, one more pump I don't think it gives a matte finish. I feel it gives a natural finish. It gives a medium coverage. It's not uh, too light or I mean it's not sheer coverage. I think it gives around exactly uh, medium coverage. And I like it but I'm not sure if it's matte and I don't know if it will uh, make my skin oily so let's see. For concealer I'm using my um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. I really like this concealer for uh, everyday natural looks. I'm just applying a bit around my mouth where I have pigmentation. Now I'm going to set the foundation with a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium Deep. So this is how my skin looks after setting it. Just finish the rest of my makeup and be right back so I'm back with the rest of my makeup and this is how it's looking and I have to say that all the makeup I wore it they sat very well on this foundation and wow like I never thought I like it so much I think I like it even more than the Nykaa skin shield foundation which was one of my favorites I didn't set my face uh, with a setting spray because I want to see how long it lasts and then I'll update it or uh, I'll do like a pinned comment so you can see how long it lasted on my face. Overall I just want to say that I'm really impressed with this foundation like as you can see and I feel like the way it blended and the shade match everything was perfect and the finish is also very natural. So. It doesn't make my oily skin oily so it's like I don't think it will make a person who has dry skin 
I mean, I think it will work for all skin types. That's what I'm trying to say. The price point is also pretty decent. Um, so I would say like if you're looking for a foundation which is which gives a natural finish and uh, which doesn't make your skin oily, like maybe I would suggest this foundation for someone who has a more of a normal skin, normal to oily skin. Like I think that's a safe bet because I've never had dry skin, so I can't speak for them. Um, yeah, so that's my recommendation. Do let me know in the comments below if you like this foundation or whether it's your type or whether you're going to pick it up. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I really love talking and sharing about makeup with you guys because I feel it's a great outlet for me. So please do subscribe to my channel if you would enjoy such kind of um, like videos or like sharing about makeup or reviews or anything of anything regarding makeup and beauty also do follow me on instagram because i do regular updates and little tidbits of my everyday life and see you guys soon in my next video until then take care bye